read me sitting duck. This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Uh, attention all guards! This is the network administrator. We're installing some new software into the security mainframe. So, according to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Should be here. This is all wrong. We 
We need to pull the plug on this operation right now! Freeze, Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable, you always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Carmelita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Hold still! Oh, jeez! Wait up, Sly! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Freeze! This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. You can't run forever! This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. <laughs> Tail. Stop, thief! Pick the back here, Ringtail! Cooper! Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that constable, Neela, was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past.
to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces, his way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumpy music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocula. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Thank you. 
what to do next? Press the L3 button and look around for waypoints. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back? Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Hear the Murray! <laughs> Sly, let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Your binocucom 
It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Slide, use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. That generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. <laughs> Thank you. 
is locked from the inside. That's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Swell, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding.
won't be able to see what Demetrius is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. supposed to get past these lasers you should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice then press the square button to throw the block at the power box hit the circle button to pick stuff up and the square button to throw got it
our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. Thank <laughs> you. 
you. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Thank you. 
Nice work, Charlie. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fail. It, Koopa. Constable Mila. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. Sly, hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neal. Done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. Demolition skills. Head on back to the safe. 
house. I should be all geared up for the field by the time you arrive. <laughs> triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out of the way before it explodes. Hey Bentley, how you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bomb all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk. Now I've got to keep moving, keep safe. <laughs>
chum. Let's get to that water tower. sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Think blocking the keys to his repair truck without being seen. drive a stick ship. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. position.
the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen to me, Tree. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Look. The money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. No! Oh, let's dance! Oh. <laughs> Counterfeiting operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You. <laughs> Cracker box! My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape.